what's going on YouTube GM grunt here and today's a special day because I'm gonna be doing an unboxing from new type HQ now check it out I'm just showing you a circle around of this box this box condition whoo I'll tell you what this box condition really had me freaking out but look at all this tape look at all this amazing tape this new type HQ tape that they put here I think that's really cool so a little backstory on this order. I, I hate, I hate ordering Gunpla kits online. One of the main reasons is because I'm a collector and I love collecting the box art. The box art has to be pristine in order for me to actually enjoy it and to like it. I know that's crazy uh, for some of you all. You really don't care unless, you know, unless there's damage to the runners. As long as there's no damage to the runners, most people don't care about the boxes. Me, I may be a minority. Let me know down in the comments down below if you care about box art, but I really care about box art. I actually sent a message letting them know how picky I am with box condition. And Terry over there at New Type HQ, he was absolutely phenomenal. He sent me photos of all the kits. I didn't have time to review all the kits, but just the, the fact that he did that was amazing to me. Like that's amazing customer service. You know, they reassured me that they picked the best ones possible. And yeah, so I was super excited to get this shipment. However, when I saw <laughs> the condition of this box, ah, uh, God, I, I got really deflated. I was like, how many kits are gonna be smashed up? And when I realized, when I got the tracking information and I realized that they used FedEx, Oh, I just knew something bad was gonna happen because I don't know about you guys But FedEx I've always had really bad experiences with not always I can't say always but Whenever I have had bad experiences with shipping and shipping condition It's been with FedEx and I don't understand why new type doesn't use UPS They might be a little more expensive, but you're not gonna have this issue well here I'm just uh <laughs> I'm like not really wanting to open this box because I know there's gonna be an issue hopefully not but as you can see how they packaged it super awesome looks like they got a lot of really nice um, bubble wrap there this is not cheap bubble wrap either guys like this is like you know hardcore stuff over here a very very good stuff over here so I was just looking at the purchase order there, taking a look at that. They got another layer of bubble wrap, and boom, there we go. And oh, the first kit I see, I'm like, no, why? There's a huge dent right in the front, and looks like there's a major dent on this one too. This is the ball twin set. And yeah, that one's crushed in. Not as bad as uh, the other one, the Sazaku, but this one, Looks like there's a pretty big dent in here. And one of the things about like box art dent, when they're in this wrap, this plastic wrap, you can't really see it that well. The camera doesn't pick it up, but you can feel it. Let me tell you this, you can definitely feel it. And this one, it just definitely does not uh, live up to my standards as a collector, as a collector of the box art. You can see the side there. That's dented in pretty bad as well. And I, I gotta preface this, this is not New Type's fault. Not completely their fault. It's their fault they choose FedEx as a courier, but it's not their fault. They, they provide excellent customer service. Um, they packaged it as well as they could. The only fault they have is using FedEx. Why people use FedEx in 2020, I have no idea. They need to go out of business. UPS all the way. Here, kit number 34. This is, I think this is Zaku. That's just bashed in. That, that's not going to cut it either. Here we've got a Zagok. I think, yeah. Yep. Zagok there, the experiment one. Oh, God, look how awesome that box, box art looks. Beautiful. Pretty much pristine. That's, that's what I'm expecting. This is amazing. This is awesome. Kit number 39. Look at that. Like, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. For those of you who break down your boxes or throw them away, I don't understand how you do that. But, you know, you do you. Here, uh, I did see a little bit of damage. I don't think that was from the shipping. I, I believe that's just how it came. But that's like normal wear and tear. I'm not fussing about that. Like, guys, normal wear and tear from, from these boxes, I mean, they get shipped from Japan first. Oh, here's a few, the cool uh, new type sticker. Look at that. That's nice, man. That's a little banshee right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I did get two of those. 
Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want one. So I'd be more than happy to give one away. But here we've got, what do we got here? The Zuda. Look at that. That condition is perfect. Not a single dent, not a single scratch. That's what I expect when I purchase model kits. I, I love the box. How can you not enjoy these this box art? It's amazing. Yeah, and I love it. So number 65 there, the Zuda. And I was just expect, in, inspecting that one in perfect condition. Amazing. Now, guys, I, I will tell you that I typically buy my kits at a brick and mortar hobby store. Mostly the mom and pop stores because I, I just they're just so nice typically. Um, they're good people and I like to support local businesses. But it's a gun plot, hashtag aka it's a gundam, hashtag aka I don't know what other uh, <laughs> words we can use to describe this guy, but uh, super cool dude, super cool YouTuber. He keeps ra ranting and raving about new type HQ, so I decided, you know, hey, what the heck? Why don't we go ahead and try them out? Here we got the Quibli Mark II. Looks phenomenal. That was perfect condition. And this is the Hazel Custom. Also perfect condition. Look at that. It's amazing. Great. I hate I don't know about you guys. I hate those bluefin stickers. I hate them. And it's just, it could be just me because I like the box art. Um, that's another reason why I like going to brick and mortar shops is because the one that I go to here in Seattle, there, there are no bluefin stickers. So it just looks a lot better. But I, I think it's easily removed with a hairdryer. Just put a little bit of heat on there and then slowly peel it off. Uh, I think... I think that deals. I do not know how to pronounce this, guys. The Gaff, Gaffley. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how to pronounce it because all I know is this guy looks cool and he's got a badass gun. So, yeah, that was that one. But that was good condition as well. And then we've got the GM. I love my GMs, aka GM Grunt over here. So, I love this one. This one's old school. It's uh, number 20 of the HGUC line. That's what I'm really trying to do, guys, is collect all the older ones first and just build up my collection from there. But this one's perfect condition. Amazing. I absolutely love this one. It's great. And it's got the red Bandai. I don't know if they have the blue Bandai uh, logo on this one yet, but it's got the red one, so it seems to be an original. Now here we got the Kshatriya. This was the one that I was most worried about because this one is massive and huge and I love that box art and it looks like it came in perfect condition. Look at that. Man, my man Terry over there at New Type HQ really hooked it up. Picked out the best one, number 99 of the HGUC line. Ugh, there's a stupid bluefin sticker. I'll, I'll take that off later. But yeah, looks absolutely phenomenal. Not a single issue with it. And I will probably display that uh, when I get more space and I get out of the studio. Beautiful box art. Love it, love it, love it. And there is a new type sticker, number douse. So yeah, let me know down in the comments down below if you want this. And I guess I'll run a, a contest or whatever. I don't know. Or you could just order something from new type. I think every order over 100, you get a, a free sticker or something that I saw on the website. Uh, here we've got another Gundam GP01FB. What an uncomplicated name, right? This is such a simple name. <laughs> Not beautiful condition. Looks like this is number 18 in the HGUC line. And I'm just trying, like I said, trying to build up those uh, lower numbered kits just to build up my my uh, collection. And there you can see a little bit of bulge on the bottom box, which I really don't care too much about. Like, this is normal wear and tear, right? It doesn't matter where you go. If you go to a brick and mortar store, you buy online or whatever, like that right there, that's no big deal. But the front of the box, the sides of the box, they look perfect. Good to go. All right, and here uh, I've laid out all the boxes that I feel are good to go. I might uh, maybe give away that Zegok uh, experiment just because the side of the box is kind of crumpled in. I know I might be crazy, whatever, but it might not meet my standards for the collection. Like uh, GM Grunt Jr. approves, but these are the ones that are pretty good. And now I got to show you the rejects. So out of all those kits... Only two really kind of failed my inspection and my expectations, which is not bad, right? It's not bad. And, and again, I got to reiterate, 
This is not 100% new type HQ's fault. Their only fault they have is using FedEx. The majority of the fault lies in FedEx because FedEx is trash. Like you, you just just hop online and you see all the complaints on FedEx. And I, I'm sure somebody's gonna comment down below. Well, FedEx is horrible too. I mean, uh, UPS is horrible too. I, I've had nothing but bad experiences. But as you can see here, the box is crushed in on the side, and it just didn't look too good. And here we've got another uh, Zaku here, and that's just ooh, that is not good. That would not. That does not meet any of my expectations for what I like, right? I like to collect the box art. For some of you that just like to build and could care less about the box, this would be perfectly fine for you, right? And uh, more power to you. You know, I wish, I wish I could be like you and not care about the box art and uh, the box. Um, but I, I can't, I can't. Yeah, and uh, here I'm just showing you the box and... Guys, it looked like it was seriously like just kicked in. That that driver was just having a bad day. Now, would I recommend new type HQ? So, at the beginning, yes, I would definitely recommend them. But I did email them and let them know what happened with these two kits, and their response back was yes, they'll be more than happy to refund. However, I would have to pay for the shipping back, and that's just not a good. Uh, experience in my you know in my view right so if if i received a damaged good i believe that shipping should be paid for for return shipping if i just wanted to return it just because i didn't like it that's a whole nother story right for sure yeah let me pay for shipping hell let me even pay for a restocking fee but if i received a, a damaged good the company should eat that cost and then just follow an insurance claim with the courier I mean, that's that's the way it should be, but apparently that's not the case. So out of five stars, I rate New Type HQ three out of five only because their return policy is not up to snuff with most modern companies and the courier that they use. Other than that, like before, if these came perfect condition or if they had offered to pay for the return shipping... Five stars all day. Terry, the front desk person that I spoke to, Terry in the in the warehouse actually picking each of the kits, like they were absolutely phenomenal. And from what I hear from It's a Gumpla, you know, the company's phenomenal and they're they're great. So if you don't care about box condition, you can definitely roll the dice with new type HQ. If you do care about box condition, and I know I know some of you are out there that care about box condition. I would stick with an online retailer that has a better return policy or just stick with, you know, mom and pop shops. That's what I would recommend uh, until they fix this return policy. Who knows? I don't know. But that's all for this video. GM Grunt out.